gentlemen, tell us what the program is today. What, what, what are we going to use these for? Are we going to use them today? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're, we're going to shoot a uh, nine round volley after half. And then we're also going to shoot in conjunction with the orchestra during the 18 12 overs. That's cool. Who's going to be the one to pull the trigger? I am. Have you done this before? Yeah. Have you done it with live ammunition before? No. No? No, I'm FDC, so no. I, I'm behind there, I'm telling them where to shoot. These, this weapon system uh, will not take live ammunition. They've been, they've been these ones won't? No, these are not the ones we normally shoot. Okay. 75 millimeter, we normally shoot 155 millimeter. Oh, okay, oh, just a slight difference. No! Yeah, we couldn't bring those in. We'd probably blow out all the windows surrounding the whole block. Really? Oh, that's... Yeah. And they do not make blank game for uh, 155. I see. So these ones are basically ceremonial? Correct. Uh, they, no they were... They were... Uh, in use? In use, yeah. If you, if you, if you get a, like, Yeah, take a picture of that right there. That's a 1935 manufacturer date. Oh wow, that's old then. Yeah, so more than likely this one has seen service somewhere. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. But they just don't make ammunition for it anymore? Oh, they do? Okay. Yeah, they just don't make this, this style can. Okay. This style can. That's cool. Cool. Besides the vehicles, but you know, some of these are actually functional, like Dave Christian the West German, uh, 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 we used to call it goulash kind of, but it's a field kitchen. Oh, cool. So, you know, he makes food for his people and stuff like that. You know, it's people that have uh, displays of weapons and equipment and stuff like that, and mannequins and, you know, tents and oh, the whole works. Weapons over there. There's a fellow here who's got a, the club has a dog tag trailer, so he will make dog tags for people and stuff like that. Oh, cool. So mostly it's all, it's just a big Kansas City Area Military Vehicle Club. Okay, so this isn't really the the armed forces out here doing something. No, these are all private citizens and stuff like that. Oh, that's yeah. cool. We're going to uh, go look over there. Yeah. A lot cool. of this, you know, celebration station, that's fine for Union Station, but it's Memorial Day. Yeah. And it's being held on Memorial, Liberty Memorial grounds. So it's, it's a real reason for the weekend. That's cool. But, but there's a lot of people that have a lot of different vehicles. I mean, you can see something here from relatively rare World War II amphibious jeeps clean up to more modern day vehicles the humvee just left and some of the blazers and things like that there's quite an assortment of vehicles this we even have uh, one that's over there it's a it's a ferret armored car which is a british uh, 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 armored fighting vehicle from the 60s so you'll see things that are like yeah. you know regular most of it it's mostly like you know trucks that used cargo carrying and things like that that's what these were all about not so many tactical vehicles per se the backbone of the vehicles, you know, they were used for equipment and scouting or, or, or hauling stuff. Oh, so people own these vehicles? Uh -huh. yeah. huh? A lot of them were sold. This sits in my house. Yeah, this sits in my front, my front yard. <laughs> the the, the oh, vehicles me. were sold off by the government years ago uh, as excess equipment. People could buy them. Uh, there was everything from large tractor trucks and, and, and cargo trucks right down to Chevrolet Blazers and Jeeps. Uh, Everything you know from World War World War II on up. The uh, the government didn't didn't need this equipment anymore, and they sold it off. They had sold off airplanes and ships and things like that as well. We just don't have any of those. Now this used to be this used to transport um, troops. Right? Uh, troops and equipment. The, 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 the biggest thing about this is is lot, there may be the occasional person that shies away like, oh guns. Well, they called it the armed forces for a reason. A lot of these vehicles carried if they didn't carry arms, they carried other weapons as ammunition, food to feed the guys that were shooting the guns and stuff like that, so there's no way to get around it, you know. Uh, ambulances, first aid, you know, whatever was necessary. That's what these vehicles moved around, and it's it's all part of history. It's just a matter of, uh, it's just a little niche of history. And we drive them, a lot of us use them in parades now. Yeah, whether it's parades, parades or displays. Like candy, throw out candy to the kids, and they love to come up and see it, and 
Ours, we have a place where we can have, we have Vietnam vets sign it as like an homage and a thank you. A lot of guys that, you know, they, they when they serve, they remember vehicles just like this when they were in. Whether it's the 60s or 40s or 50s or 60s or 70s or 80s. A lot of people come up and they go, you know, I drove one of these. Right. I had one of these when I was serving and, you know, they, they'll tell you stories about, yeah, we, we got stuck once in the mud or something like that. And, and a lot, lot of equipment, some of the stuff's slightly modified, it's not its original form. But, a lot of them are stone stock, just like they got them from the military, whether it's the paint job or the equipment in them. Uh, uh, so a lot of us also will dress in the period uniforms for whatever vehicle you're with. Uh, so they kind of still that air of, of this is like 1970. This is, this is what you got. This is what you looked like when you drove it. There's a lot of guys still with the Vietnam stuff especially. They come out and it's like, yeah, I, that's the uniform I wore. That's the vehicle I drove. What's this, uh, two different lights on the head now, of this motorcycle? One of those is a regular headlight and one's an infrared light. That's what this I was, was thinking, used yeah. in, like, Desert Storm. Uh, those are, uh, U.S. Army or U.S. Marine Corps, uh, Kawasaki. Yeah. Used by Marine Scouts or Army Scouts and, and uh, an infrared headlight instead of a regular headlight. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And you'd wear the night ops gear and stuff like that so you could see and ride at night. That's cool. But there's a, there's a lot of different stuff here. There's a lot of people and a lot of stuff. Okay, we're almost ready for lunch. We found this thing, cleaned it up. This is a perfect night. And I always forget what it is. Oh! oh. oh. So cool! No. We mean to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Did you mean to do that? Because that's oh, well. crazy. He was gonna, oh well. Well, that was fun. Oh well. Oh well. Oh, well. Are you eating strawberry or watermelon? Watermelon. Watermelon. Hi Ashley, eating food. Ashley just moved. Hi Laura. Okay, so good. Hi. Oh, it's beautiful out here. It is nice up. My dad, I thought you hate that game. What game? Scrabble. Oh, I love Scrabble. Oh, at the world school we had Scrabble and forward and with Ben. That's my version of Red Harrison, say hi. Hi. Hi.